economy, we don't have a moment to spare. Well, hold on, Mr. President. Maybe we do. Actually, maybe we have quite a few moments to spare. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is your world. Stocks up because maybe, just maybe, the economy could be looking up. The Federal Reserve signaling just that today as the President urges its passage of a massive stimulus package. The House getting ready to vote on that very package right now. Do we need it now? Why well, former presidential candidate Mitt Romney says no, and why Google's CEO says we need something else. He's here too. First, to New York Democratic Congressman Maurice Kinchy, who says we need this stimulus now. Congressman, always good to have you. Neil, thank you very much. It's great to be with you. Same here. Let me uh, mention, uh, sir, when you have the Federal Reserve coming out as it did today, noted signs of improvement, um, and we've already spent, as you know, quite a bit of money to stimulate this economy between financial rescues and auto bailouts and stimulus plans. We, we might already be uh, at the cusp of the, seeing the, the results, big results. So why pile on that? Well, what the Fed is saying, that, that they think there may be some slight improvement in the set of circumstances, but they're not doing anything significant uh, with regard to, uh, or seeing anything significant with regard to housing, for example. Uh, they're talking about doing whatever they can to promote uh, borrowing for specific operations, including things like on credit cards and uh, for the cost of education, things of that nature, and hopefully that will have some impact. But it's not going to have nearly the kind of impact that we need. This economy is in dire circumstances. It's the worst thing that we've experienced since the 1930s, basically. Do you really think that, though, worse. Congressman? I'm not minimizing what's going on right now, but when we put it in those terms that this is depression life. Um, we're losing some severe recessions along the way, and it came afterwards. You know, I, re I can remember cars wrapped around blocks trying to get gas. I can remember, you know, double-digit inflation. I can remember double-digit unemployment. I'm thinking, that was pretty rough, too. So why are we going back to the Depression to, to gun a package that we might not need? Well, we do need it, and I think that that's very clear. And uh, it's, it, you just look at the numbers, for example. We are now experiencing one of the biggest unemployment rates we've ever had. We lost 2.6 million jobs over the course of the, of the last year. And the, that, that number is increasing. The, the, look at the last three months. Lost 1.5 million jobs over the course well, of the last How are you going to get those months. jobs back, sir? If, if some of these numbers are amazing. If you're going to have $335 million uh, for sexual prevention, if you're going to have... $40 million for climate research, if you got $1.5 million for a Miami water park, uh, you know, $600 million to retrofit new government vehicles, $50 million in arts and now I, I know we could pick apart a lot in a package that seems to be wasteful, but that already is a lot of waste. I'm just wondering, how is that going to help the nation? What you're talking about is something that I'm not aware of, frankly. But uh, the legislation that we deal with here is never perfect. But most of the legisl most of the costs here, most of the expense that we're focusing on, is creating jobs. Look at in my district alone, for example, we're going to see tens of millions of dollars put into the educational structure, going into uh, the education system in the, the 22nd congressional district. You just multiply that across New York State. You might be right. I'm just saying that. It across the country. The congressional oh, budget, right. no, the congressional budget over the scores of these things said a lot of the bank for the buck comes in outer years, Congress. I mean, yes. All I'm just saying is, we're in this pell-mell rush to spend money, effectively doubling down in blackjack terms, doubling the deficit in the hope that you'll have a good hand and, and, and maybe uh, turn this thing around. But if you don't, if you don't, you have risked a lot of Americans' money on a hunch that we could spend our way out of this morass, and I'm not sure we can. Neil, oh, Neil, I'm sure we can, and I'm sure we will. Remember, the, uh, the debt that we're experiencing was doubled over the course of the last eight years. But the spending on this through the well, that doesn't latest mean you examination compound, that doesn't of mean it. you compound the problem, right? I agree with you. We were doubling down. That no, doesn't mean that we we're, keep adding we're to We're escaping it. the problem. How are you adding escaping the problem, adding to the spending for the problem? We're adding to the, we're adding to spending because we're putting it in a con constructive way. We're not borrowing and spending. We're well, putting I mentioned spending, some of those projects, guys. We're putting so a spending in a construction way. Some of those seem constructive. I, mean, I guess if you're in Miami and you're looking for it, Another water park, God, I thought they have a lot of them. Well, Neil, well, it could be maybe beneficial to you, but come on. No, no, it's beneficial to everyone, Neil. 
if you look at the way in which most of this money is being spent, the real spending here is for basic infrastructure, it's for transportation, it's for education, it's for health care, and the amount of spending, about uh, three quarters of it, is going to be over the course of the next 18 months. Two thirds of it is going to be within the context of this year. That's well, no, spending that, that, is no, going no, to no, start the improving this economy right. and it's creating CDL jobs. says two thirds of it will not be this year. Where'd you get that? Uh, well, they're wrong about that. No. No. Two thirds of it is going. Two thirds of it is going to be in the course of this year, All and right. three quarters of it will be over the course of the next 18 months. We shall see. Regardless, Congressman, always good having you on. Thank you for stopping by. Neil, it's a pleasure.